Please tell me I'm not alone. Are you feeling this? The pain, anger, frustration over the last 24 hours, the price of gold has dropped $80 per ounce. What about silver? It's down almost $2 per ounce, almost 8%. This is a painful 24 hour period, no matter how you slice it or dice it now. What is the reason behind this precipitous fall in the price of the precious metals? We're going to talk about that in this video. Also, will this continue? Are the macro conditions in place that are going to lead to even lower prices in precious metals? We're going to touch on that as well. We've got some interesting things to talk about. We can hang together, right? We, we've always said these are choppy waters when you invest in precious metals. Unfortunately, right now is one of the tough times. Let's take a breath, step back, look at what's going on, reassess the situation, and see where we should move from here. So what do you think about these unbelievable, shocking employment numbers that came out this morning in particular? That's the main reason why gold and silver are dropping like a rock. And these numbers were shocking. The number of jobs created in December came in almost three times higher than what was expected. I think 185,000 jobs were anticipated to have been created, and the government is telling us they created well over a half million jobs. We'll touch on whether or not those numbers are accurate toward the end of the video, but first, let's talk about why good job numbers alone could cause the price of precious metals to drop. I mean, it doesn't really just on the surface make sense. So, school's in session for just a few minutes. This is a key concept that anyone, yes, you and me, invested in precious metals needs to understand. The good jobs numbers, and for that matter, any really great economic numbers at this point, that gives the Federal Reserve cover, gives them a strong base from which they can continue their harsh, tight, hawkish, whatever you want to call it, monetary policy, raise interest rates, okay? So that's the first relationship. The economy has to be doing well for the Fed to be able to keep raising, raising rates, and those numbers this morning indicate the economy is doing well. Now, when the Fed raises rates, that makes the dollar go up in value. That makes the price of gold and silver plummet. Days like today, it's tough for us to be precious metals investors. Yes, I'm smiling, but trust me, I'm experiencing much angst and pain on the inside. So if you are too, you're not alone. Remember, you can always come here to Ron's basement. We'll navigate these choppy waters and they're choppy right now, but we'll make it through and we can do it together. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. You can share it with anyone you like. Let's get back to the video. It's all based on market expectations, and it's important we also realize the opposite is true. If unemployment starts to creep back up in the future, if the economic numbers start to come in much lower than expected, if we head into a recession, that will be very good for the price of silver and gold because that will signal then that the Fed is going to have to loosen up, become more dovish, print more money, however you want to say it. And that is very, very conducive to the price of silver and gold. Think about it like a person out running, out jogging, right? And they're running into the wind, okay? What happened in the last 24 hours is the wind speed picked up significantly. Is it going to last or is it just temporary? That remains to be seen. I don't know what you're seeing out there, but my gut feel of the economy is things aren't all that great. I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day. He's in the in-ground swimming pool business. He builds kind of medium to high-end in-ground swimming pools around St. Louis here. I asked him, I said, how's business? He said, oh, it's still decent and good, 
but it has significantly slowed down from where it was a year or two years ago. Back then, he was telling me that it would take a year to a year and a half before they would even start digging to build a new pool. Now they can pretty much start immediately when they get a new order. So things are slowing down. You're seeing it and hearing it at car dealerships. I don't know. I mean, they can say, oh yeah, employment's great and blah, blah. I mean, I think a big thing to remember is there's still a lot of money sloshing around out there from that extraordinary printing folly that the Federal Reserve went through back in 2020 when they created like 40% of the U.S. dollars that have ever been created, they created them in like a, a one-year period. There's still so much of that money floating around out there. Employment is a lagging indicator. That is an absolute known fact. And I think it's even double lagging right now. And what we mean by lagging indicator, do you understand that? That means that it doesn't show up until after the fact. It takes it, there's a lag, right? There's a lag time between when the economy slows down and when that starts to show up in employment numbers. That has always been the case. I think in particular this time because of the acute employee shortage that many companies experienced uh, during the 2020, 2021 time period, even into 2022, they're hoarding employees. They're only laying people off if they absolutely have to, because they, you know what it's like, they, they remember that pain they went through during that two year period where they couldn't find anybody to do some work. The other thing I hear brought up about these employment numbers is, it's so tough out there right now. It's so hard for people just to provide for their basic necessities that a lot of these jobs are second jobs. A lot of these jobs are people coming out of retirement, going back to work because they can't afford to live. I mean, think about it. Think about the big picture. Just a few more things we want to cover here. Credit card debt in this country at all time highs and the interest rates being charged on those credit rates, all time highs right? Savings rates, all-time lows, right? The amount of money people have in savings in the United States has dropped significantly. Why, you may ask? Because people are having to use their credit cards, use their savings just to survive, and that doesn't last forever. It's going to be interesting, guys. I'll be here for you through it all. I always appreciate you joining me here in Ron's Basement. I know today was very, very tough, Things will get better. I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoy my content, watch another video. Check out the merch shop. It's in the description. Most important, be well, and I'll see you soon.